this team's been pretty consistent with like effort and energy and I didn't think we had very good effort or energy to start the game and I was really disappointed that that surprised me uh but then as I said the thing I was proud of tonight was how we responded to things and we responded quickly and I thought that Jizzle, um, Josh, and AZ came off the bench and just ignited us a little bit. I thought they gave us some energy early, and that kind of got us going a little bit again. Um, and then I thought our guys, for the rest of the night, had good effort and energy. But that that first, however, what was it six, seven, eight minutes? I mean, that was boy, that was that was disappointing. Uh, and we we kind of spotted ourselves or spotted them some some easy baskets, and we're trying to kind of dig out of it the whole first half. How would you characterize like the final five seconds of regulation? Well, that's... And then the final guys handle, carry the momentum. Man, I tell you what, the uh, that was wild. That was a wild sequence. I mean, it really was. Like, I, that's up there. I, you know, you coach a long time. You've been through some wild sequences, and that's just coaching. That's basketball. But that that's that's on the list. I mean, that was insane. Just the swings, um, you know. I that was wild. I, a lot of missed free throws in there. Three of them, to be exact, that could have won the game for either team. He took it incredibly hard, and I knew he would. I mean, I think I said that to you guys while I was in here, and I that that comes from somebody as a player and is trying to grow as a coach and adult that does that same type of thing to myself. So I, I, uh, I, I respect John because his care is so high. You know, like I, like I can relate to that, but he's also a leader on our team, and he. It's like this is what I've learned about being a coach. We don't, we don't. We take losses incredibly hard, guys. I, I mean, I, I, somebody said something in a press conference the other day. But I, you guys see Patino's press conference? I mean, I, like every coach relates to that because it was just brutally honest. And you're like, yep, I feel the same way. But as a, as a coach in a leadership position, we don't get to dwell because we have a responsibility to the guys in the locker room to respond the right way and prepare for the next game and, and lead them. We don't get to dwell. And that was one of the things John and I talked about. It's like I, I relate and understand and appreciate how much you care and why you're taking it so hard, but you don't you don't get to dwell because you're a leader on our team and you have to show them how to deal with it. And it, he didn't turn the corner as quick as I wanted, but by the time we got into the Baylor game, I thought he had the right approach. And I thought that helped our team after the Baylor game when Dan misses you know, a layup and CMOS misses a three. And they're really down. I thought it helped. They've all kind of been through it together a little bit now, and that's how the team starts coming together. So I, he took it really hard, but it was great to see him kind of, kind of back looking confident, get back to that moment on the free throw line and make two big ones. I mean – Coaching's a wacky profession, and he gets the the steal and the run out layup and tries to get his feet set to go dunk it. I've calmed down a lot in my old age. I mean, <laughs> it's not even funny to me. I mean, it's like, come on, man. You know, like, but that's coaching, you know. And he's a. We got two rookie point guards. The rookies. I just what it is. They they want it. They're about. They are about everything that Cincinnati Bearcats are about. Like, they, they represent what this program has been about for a long time. They're the right kind of kids, but they're rookies. And they're they're learning what this takes at this the best league in college basketball. And my job isn't to freak out and yell and scream at him for missing. He knows he missed a damn layup, a big one. I think with the four-point game when he did, late in the, in the regulation, my, my job is to – to keep helping them learn and grow and get them ready to play the next play. They don't he doesn't need me to tell him that he screwed it up there. He knows, okay? Um so yeah, it's a, that's the kind of roller coaster that coaches live on, but we got to get to a point we don't smoke layups, okay? We we saw way too many of that the last, you know, couple games. Be able to kind of give you 
a second defensive guy on the wing that we could use? I, I think uh, I'm, I'm actually glad you asked the question. He, he has been um, – he's been a key to us improving as a defensive team. There were not – there were – I don't know if we looked like an improved defensive team tonight, but during stretches. But he's been a massive key. He's one of our best defensive players, and to have somebody else other than John that you, you not just you know can play defense, but you can rely on every day. And Josh has become a guy that's a great defensive player that's reliable and consistent every day. It's really added to our to our team in an incredible positive way, and probably something that doesn't get enough attention and should. So, yeah, I've been really pleased with Josh. Coach, you've had a different player lead the team in scoring in all four conference games. Do you guys as a staff feel like that can kind of be a strength of opposing teams are scouting you that they can't key in on one guy to kind of slow down the, slow down the entire machine of their kind of offense? I think, you know, when it comes to, to our, our offense and guys' performances, I, I think guys like we, we don't have a team full of, you know, fourth and fifth year seniors. You know, like we, we got some younger players or players that maybe are older but in new positions. And they're talented. They're gifted. Like we have a nice roster, but they're learning their way. And, you, you're, you know, you're starting to see that. Like, you, you know, you see Dan Skilling starting to show what he's capable of offensively the last couple games, you know, at this level, right? Or, you know, you see CMOS and what he's capable of, you know. But these guys are at this level for the first time finding their way for the first time. As we continue to work through it and they become more consistent, we're going to become a very good offensive team because we have a lot of offensive depth and ability. Ryan, last question. Coach, coming off back-to-back, one possession losses, what does a win like tonight do for your team's confidence moving forward? Yeah, you know, like it, it's, uh, it's, it's important when you've lost a couple games that you felt you had real chances to win. Uh, it's important to win one. You got to learn how to win in one, two possession games, which it seems like this whole dang league is, right? And so that that it was important. If we didn't win tonight, we'd be back at work. We'd be down, but we'd be back at work trying to figure out how to do it again, and we'd eventually do it. But it was nice that it, it came through tonight, and that should give our team some confidence. Thanks, guys. I think to start the game, we just didn't play with a lot of energy or a lot of focus. Uh, and also, I mean, they were hitting some tough shots, so credit to them. But I think, like, I think our, our defensive energy and our edge could have been better to start the game off. So, um, but like I said, credit to them. We just had to weather the storm, though. Like, really, that's all it really was. Like, I know, like, I know what kind of guys I got in the locker room with me. So I knew it, w- it wouldn't end up, like, the whole game like that. But it was just all about weathering the storm and continuing to fight. Dave, 13 of 58 coming in against two tonight from three. How have you been able to keep your confidence and still play your game throughout this tough stretch for you? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, my teammates, they just you know keep telling me to shoot the ball because I'm working on my shot every day in practice, before practice, after practice. So just getting reps and just staying confident, keeping my head up. Uh, I think my teammates just found me in the right places. Kind of like, uh, kind of like any other time for me, really. Just finding the ball in opportune places and being aggressive with it. Um, continue to put in the work in. I mean, that just that matters for me. I'm like, I, I'm not a kind of guy that can just go out there and like do it. You know, I have to work at it every single day. So I will credit it to my work, but then also my teammates just finding me in the right spots and uh, you know, me being able to capitalize on that. <laughs> we got 16 tough guys, man. We got 16 tough guys. It's 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 infectious throughout our locker room. Um, that's what Coach West loves, that edge. And, you know, every guy in that locker room with me, we all bring that to the table. So, um, you know, I, I, just like they feed off of me, I feed off of them. Hmm, that's a good question. 
Um, I mean, every every environment is different. Like, for example, Carolina, it has like a bunch of people, but like their their fans aren't as rowdy as like I would say um, like the Baylor game. Like those fans are more rowdy, but every venue is different. Every venue comes with something um, unique. Man, these our fans are our fans are incredible. Our fans here, you talking about like the Fifth Third? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's incredible. Like it's always electric. Um, but I, I love it here though because it's like you get the honesty. Because like if you're not if we're not playing well, they pretty much let us know. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, you know, it goes both ways, which I appreciate though. You know, um, but I, I love our fans. They show up um, even over winter break. They showed up for us, um, and they continue to. So we just got to keep playing a good brand of basketball. So. Keep making them proud. Question for both of you. The last five seconds was pretty hectic to say the least uh, of regulation. How do you guys keep your composure and make sure that you don't spin out of control and also talk about overtime as well and keep your focus? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> we practice for this moment at practice. So, like, uh, it's just talking to each other, telling each other, you know, don't get too relaxed on defense. You know, we still got to get a stop no matter what. I feel like us just communicate with each other, just just bring us together, keep our composure. John, if you could answer that also, John, what that last five seconds of regulation is like? Yeah, I mean it's it's chaotic. Like games like this are always chaotic, man. Um, but I think a common message is just to stay focused. Um, we want to have the same focus and intention in every possession. Like it doesn't always go that way, but especially in the last in the last five seconds. In the midst of all the chaos, you know, you kind of want to, you know, depend on the focus that you build up during practice. You know, Coach West does a good job at putting us in, like, late game situations so we're, that we're ready for those moments. And, um, you know, we ended up going to overtime. But, um, you know, even in overtime, I think you saw, like, some of the plays that we made down the stretch were very, like, focused. And, and it was things that we practiced. So. Yeah, Oof. it was like a full circle moment, really, because I was really down on myself, man, really, uh, after that Texas game, because I was like, dang, like, it's not all my fault, but like, you know, you know how you feel as an individual, so, um, but truth be told, at, at that moment, I could I could only be so, so down because I practiced for those moments, like, I was prepared as I could be, uh, it just didn't go my way, but you know, after the game, Coach West is just telling me, like, this is where you see, like, the, your true character and how you bounce back. And even a little bit when I was on the line first today, I was in my head about, you know, still in my head about the, the Texas game. But as the game went on, I just kind of had to tell myself, like, I literally practiced this. I was shooting on that goal literally earlier today, just practicing. So it's nothing other than, you know, the work, and you can't be in your own head about it. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw I saw uh, something about it. I don't I don't always listen to him uh, to the post game presses, but uh, I did see like a quote about it, and you know it means everything to me to have a coach that like has your back, uh, even like you know whenever whenever I lose, we all lose. He loses too, and um, you know he's a guy that really wants to win, but it just means the most to me that he just has my back and that he's understanding. Like nobody wants to miss free throws. No one's trying to miss free throws. You know, but um, and he knows that because he's played. He's played the game. He's played at the highest level. So um, I think he can kind of have like some, I guess, like empathy would be the word. Um, but you know, it just means the world to me. That's my guy, and uh, he's rocking with me. So I'm always rocking with him. What do you guys think about the kids coming on the court? Nah, that's love. I love the student session. <laughs> <laughs> I love the student session. That means a lot. That means a lot. Yeah, that was lit. That was lit. <laughs> Yeah, I was a, I was a part of a few at Clemson. We had be uh we had be like three top six teams in a week. Like we had beat uh um who did we beat Louisville? That's when they had like Jordan War, all those guys. And then we beat we beat Duke when they had uh Cassius Stanley, and then we beat Florida State. And they were like I think they were like the sixth team or something like that. So. I didn't expect it at all. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of caught off guard for. Real.
<laughs> it's funny because I was literally just like standing there. And then next thing, I was kind of like zoned out. And the next thing I know, I got a bunch of people surrounding me like, no, no. <laughs> but, man, that was fun, man. It was fun, man. Um, you know, and, and hopefully we can continue to get tough wins like that and create more moments like that. That's exciting for me. Man, uh, yeah, he's a great player, man. He's a great player. Watch him on film. Plays very, very hard. Super physical, um, strong. Uh, but you know, I just, I just take it as like part of my responsibility to take on every single challenge, every man that steps in front of me. Um, and knowing that sometimes I might fail, really, like it might be somebody to cook me one night, really, honestly. But that's what comes with the job of being like a defensive stopper. Um, you kind of got to – my dad always told me, like, you got to have the, the mindset of, like, a defensive back. Like, you might get burnt one play, but you got to get right back to it. So, um, that's kind of my mentality. Um, but, like I say, he's a great player. Uh, I guess not the best night for him, but, you know, he's still a great player, and uh, I'm going to continue to take on every challenge, really. Josh will play on quite a bit as well. Mm -hmm. How much have you taken Josh under your wing? Because he is – he looks like a different player over the past couple weeks. Yeah, he does. He does, man. I'm super proud of Josh because it hasn't always gone his way this year. Seriously, I'm sure he would have wanted to play more earlier on, but like, I think he's kind of like found his niche. I think it's not always about like, it's not always about where you are in the moment. You have to like kind of fight to find your role and fight to find your place on the court. And I think that's something that he's done, and that's not easy to do. Like, it's super easy to 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 pout and to take yourself out. Really, take yourself out the out the game. But Josh is, like, high character. And um, so, like, that shows why he's in the position that he's in now. Um, you know, we, we – like you said, he, he took – we took turns guarding him. And he's one of the person – he's one of the people on the team that, like, I really, really trust that he can get the job done. You know, if you take me out – really, I never trip when I come out the game. But, like, if you – if Josh is coming in or you put Josh on him, like, I have full confidence in Josh. He does his job smart. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank you all.